Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are gonna have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with the designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You want to make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hello, hello everybody. Hey Sherry, how you doing girl? How's it going? Are you enjoying your new deck yet? <laughs> I'm a little crooked on here. Oh well, if I mess with it, it's gonna all fall down. <laughs> uh, are you guys enjoying some coffee this morning? There is a little coolness in the air this morning. Fall's coming. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Summer's okay, but fall is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a fun project for you today. If you're coming in, say hello. If you're brand new to Chocotour and don't have a designer, just comment hashtag newbie so I can give you some information. I um, posted that we're going live at 8 and then I realized all of my stuff was still in the car for my party last night. So I just got an early morning, well not even early because I've been up for a while. I had a morning workout running out to the garage, down to the basement, up to the garage, down to the basement. I almost have a little bit of sweat. Um, looking for new deck furniture. Well, I wonder if all the deck furniture is about to be on clearance because fall's coming. <laughs> so what we have today, because I'm ready for Halloween. I know, let the kids go back to school, right? But in my defense, a lot of my friends, their kids are already back in school. Um, hey, Debbie. Now, my son Ezra doesn't go back till after the holiday, um, but I don't care. I'm going to start making my Halloween stuff now. And actually, if you go to the craft store, the aisles are full of Christmas. So we can do Halloween. It says spine chilling wear. This transfer is so adorable because you can interchange these pieces and make this skeleton do whatever you want. I told my son I was going to make him dab, and he was like, Mom, that's so last year. So I guess dabbing is not a thing anymore. I don't know. Let me go ahead and share with you what we're working on today. This is a fun little wall art. Um, it's not Chalk Couture. I got it from um, a store, but you can close it. You can even chalk on um, this part out here, but I am going to chalk on the chalkboard inside. And this is what has been hanging. A lot of it is. Oh, I bet it will. I bet it will, Sherry. This is what's been hanging above. I have a little table. Um, and if I put Chalk Couture on the table, then I'll just close it and it'll be really pretty. But um, right now, don't judge. I already have something Halloween on the table underneath it. <laughs> I had to. It was so cute. I went to a local craft store and they are selling Venus fly traps that are super cute. So I thought, I thought spine chilling would go really nicely over this Venus flytrap. Fly so you can see this. This is our Chalk Couture. 
It doesn't budge or smudge. It is on here. But if I want to change it out, I'm just going to take some water. I'm going to spray this with water so we can redesign. So it is water soluble, all of this chalk paste. This has been on here for a really long time. So I'm going to squirt some water on here and let it set just a minute to kind of soak in and start dissolving all of that chalk paste. <laughs> try to straighten that out there and all you need is water and a paper towel and it's really good if you have a board eraser I had a party last night and I was super sad I forgot to bring board erasers um, I was really embarrassed really embarrassed. So this is our board eraser. This works great for cleaning our transfers and for cleaning surfaces. Um, it is kind of like, um, it feels like a, um, what do you call those, Mr. Clean Erasers, but there's no chemicals in this. So we're going to see if this is starting to, oh look, geez, that was super easy. I thought it was going to have to set a second and then all you have to do is wipe this off. Look at this. I'm going to do this in little sections here so that I can because this is a lot of paste on the sunflower go ahead and I have a little bit of ghosting on here um, I'll have to rub it a little harder this is not a chalk couture surface um, chalk couture takes a lot of pride in their surfaces and it's such high quality that when you erase a design off of chalk couture um, you will not see what used to be there, but some of these chalkboards here are a little more cheaply made. I guess I can say cheaply made, but they're not designed to be able to erase. Look at all this yellow. So I think I'm gonna go wash my board eraser. It is coming off. I did wax this, so it is coming off. Um, Waxing is a, a step that you do. I did wax a sherry, but you can see I thought it was going to ghost, but I think I just didn't rub hard enough. Right now, there's no ghosting. I just need to <clears throat> rinse out my board eraser because it's full of yellow. So great question, Sherry. I did wax it, and you know what? It's not ghosting. I thought it was going to ghost, but I just needed to go over it again. Uh, waxing, I usually use this min wax. If you're doing a small project on a small board, um, we do have chalk couture paste wax that works really well. I'm just going to get all the residue off of this because this has been hanging, gosh, since the spring. Because I didn't change it for summer. Did not change it for summer. But yes, I did wax this. Oh, this looks perfect. And then we can design a repeat. So you could not even tell there was anything on there. So I do recommend waxing any chalkboard that is not chalk couture, especially if it is a sprayed on chalk. I'm just gonna dry this really good. These board erasers are amazing. If I didn't have the board eraser, then I would still be able to see that sunflower also. So that's just a great tool to have to clean everything. All right, so let's look at what funness we are chalking on here today. <clears throat> oh, another trick is if you have a board that you didn't know about waxing and you have a little bit of ghosting, I've never had to try it, but they say if you take a stick of chalk and run it sideways, like the, I don't even know what part to put on that, all over your board and then erase it, then that helps as well. Gosh, you know, when I could close it and put more bones on here. <laughs> when it's time, when it's time. It's a little dusty, actually. I'm a little embarrassed about that. Um, wouldn't that be cute to have bones on this side? So if you close it, you still have, like, 
a femur. <laughs> Or I guess um, a humorous would be funny. Haha. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was not funny. Okay, so let's go ahead and open our spine chilling here. Like I said, this board is super cute. I still have you guys very crooked. Um, let's try it better. So I'm gonna grab a sharpie and I'm gonna grab my. Ooh, transfer trimmers that I have paste all over. I guess that's what it's for, right? These transfer trimmers have a great coating on them so things don't stick to them. They stay nice and sharp and they match. Look at that. So let's go ahead and cut apart our transfer where these cut lines are. Right here. So I'm just gonna cut these here. This would make a cute t-shirt. This would make cute little towels for the oven. Oh, I could put the words on either side. Sure, you always have good ideas. I'm shocked I haven't seen any posts of your projects, Sherry, because you have such amazing projects to do. I'm waiting. You better post your projects. And don't forget, by posting your projects in the VIP group, um, it gives you a chance at winning a free transfer. All right. All these pieces on this, you can do pretty much anything. Short bone connect to the... Long bone. It's going to take a second, but I'm going to go ahead and label these just for cleanup to make it easy and so that you always want to make sure that when you put these, because they're reusable, back on the backing, you stick it to that super glossy side so you don't mess up your transfer. So I like to write on the back. I'm going to say spine chill. And I'm going to put L bone. And we'll do S bone. <laughs> I know, I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm fancy. A spoon. Ribs. Skull. <laughs> Pelvis. Pelvis. Aware. Those um, Let's Get Wicked minis would look really cute on the side also. What is this? A foot? Oh, this is the left foot. I guess left hand, right hand. Okay, so let's have a sip of coffee and think this through. <laughs> ah, let's think this one through, guys. Hmm. Still, I'm not. I think it keeps going crooked because I actually have a light on my phone up here to give me some light and it weighs enough to make it droop. Okay, so here's what I kind of am envisioning because this is kind of like a little window, right? I'm thinking of having, thinking of having our little guy look like he's kind of popping in. Let's see how we can do this. Um, like popping in and, uh, Hey Ashley, how you doing? What's the best way to do that? I wanted him to kind of come off, but this, you know what? This board is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, um, so small that we would have to, um, have only part of him, but he's big enough. We could probably do a pose. I went downstairs and attacked all of my pace the other day. I was doing a lot of stirring. Felt like a workout. Yeah, make sure you have distilled water, especially if you haven't been using them. And I kind of wanted him to be waving. I still want to do that. I don't know if I want... 
So maybe if he was coming off. I swear, you would think I would know by now and plan these things out a little better. See what I mean? Like, boop, boop, boop. Like, he's kind of waving off the board. What do you think? Is that a leg? His little leg going off of there. I'm open to suggestions. Even though it is my house, I could overrule. <laughs> going to but I kind of want him poking out of there that's not what I wanted I'm spine chilling at the top um, or it is big enough for beware I kind of like beware beware like walk into my house beware Here. So I'm pulling up the transfer for inspiration because now that I've cut it apart, <clears throat> use just short bone for arms and long for love. Oh, is that how it goes? Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah, when they're doing all of the yoga poses and stuff like that in the catalog, they, um, they do use the long bone there we go so then should we have him more centered and kind of doing a jig is that a thing a jig I kind of want him to be Pete poking in you may have to do the rib cage first so like that that even if some of his pelvis is off of the screen and then has bone there there like that what do you think like that let's see we'll start with the rib cage right about there I have my fuzzing cloth next to me on the table here so this is a brand new transfer so we're gonna have to fuzz 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 I'm going to Go ahead and fuzz this. That's the joy of it, Sherry. It, it, there's no way that it goes. I mean, you make it go how you want it to go. Let's see. Thinking maybe. I'm just going to put this on here and take a peeksy and see if that's how I want it because we haven't pasted it yet. So we can move these around. It's kind of like those trans. What are they called? Transformers? Color form? Those little toys we had. This way, um, his head is, is kind of poking this way. I want him to look like he's looking in my house. <laughs> like that. Where's my pelvis bone? And then... Like that. Mm-mm-mm. So that goes to the head and then we'll kind of go like that yeah and then a little leg down here and then we can do up I'm just trying to see if I want to put um, both bones to make it take up more of the board. That's all. Like that does take up a good bit of the board. But I think I should move him down. Okay. I think I should move him down a little bit. So we'll go like that. Like that. What do you guys think of this? And then we have our pelvis that we could either make him 
I mean, skeletons are pretty flexible, right? And their little leg. No, we just won't have any feet. Dun, dun, dun. Beware. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and grab my bright white, which is one that I always usually have to stir. It thickens up. We'll see how it's going. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Carly. Okay, here we go. So you can see you always want your chalk paste to be the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. Mine is right on the edge. And if you ever have a question, just add a little bit. You just don't want it too thin. Um, but thick paste is really what would ruin your project. 99% of the time when I see something, it is because your paste is too thick um, or too dry. There we go. All right, so I'm going to plop that there. And you just want to put a little bit of chalk paste right on your transfer. And then you want your squeegee to do all of the work. Okay, all of the work. So you just put it on and this little bad guy goes to work for you. Do, do, do. So there's no painting with your stir stick. I've, I've noticed that many, many times that people feel like they need to paint it. And I understand it because you feel like you're at a paint night. But no, this is why we have these awesome tools to do most of the work for you. So you can talk amongst your friends, drink some wine. Oh, it was such a fun party last night. All right, so now we're gonna pull this. You never wanna pull out a diagonal. You wanna go side to side. Hey, Lori. And there's my little rib cage. Now I have a bucket of water down by my feet. I never put it around um, my work because I always splash, I'm really messy. And then we want this guy to dry. Yeah, Tracy, this is so cute. It, um, look at this. <laughs> this hangs in my um, entryway at my house. And you're gonna have to rewind after it's over and watch the replay because I had the sunflower on here. But I just erased it so we could do something else. I'm gonna go ahead and dry these ribs. <laughs> How are you doing, Lori? What I love about this transfer is you can make this skeleton do whatever you want. You could, um, you can pose it because all the pieces are separate. I'm gonna go ahead and fuzz the pelvis. Ooh, that sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I can't wait to see, Tracy. All right, so I'm just going to make his pelvis kind of go at an angle here. Like this. And not all of the pelvis is going to be showing. It's just a tiny bit that's cut off, but I want him to look like he's kind of peeking in. Am I achieving that? I hope so. I hope so. I don't always... Um, do a good job of putting on <laughs> my project, what's in my brain. I'm gonna use my mini squeegee next. And we're going to just go this way. I picked the mini so I could get in this little corner without getting chalk paste all over the corner of the frame. Get off all the excess you just want a very very thin layer and um, scrape all that extra off very the thinnest layer possible because you're gonna want that paste for another project anyway and it looks better there's my little pelvis still waiting for your floors to be done mm, nowhere to craft that just sounds like a nightmare this is going in my bucket of water. I'm gonna dry this. Uh, 
When are they going to be done, Tracy? <laughs> oh my God. Tracy, you're my Halloween queen. You don't have this transfer. I wonder if you missed it because when they did the initial catalog release, this one was not available yet. You had to wait. Oh, I was getting so impatient. <laughs> I guess we'll do the head next so we know where the arms go. This transfer I'm so excited about. I actually got an extra 18 by 18 square board because I want to put this guy everywhere. And you can put a whole bunch of them everywhere, but they're all going to look different because you can pose them different. Oh, it keeps getting pushed back. Oh, isn't that something? All right. So I'm going to have his head kind of tilted like hey guys I'm here for the party <laughs> I know and don't forget September the 16th we have a whole hey Sue we have a whole nother mini catalog with 30 transfers releasing so make sure you grab these up <laughs> make sure you grab these up and I'm sure if this hasn't sold out yet it's going to because I'm a little ahead I guess um, and doing Halloween, but once everybody realizes, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time, they are going to be snagging up all of these transfers, um, and who knows how many they made for this year. But because they are so seasonal, I bet once supplies gets low, they'll be concentrating more on Christmas and already the spring. I don't hate to say that. How are you doing, Sue? I've been thinking about you, girl. I actually almost sent your surgeon a text message <laughs> to say, wait, my friend is going to have surgery. Treat her well. All right, so here comes the skull. We're just going to peel this off. Oh, my gosh, he's so cute. Does anyone know what the new badges are about? Sherry, I don't know. Facebook keeps changing things, and sometimes they make me mad. Sometimes they make me happy. Um... But I know what you're talking about because I'm in another group for somebody else and it just told me that I was some type of, and do I want the badge or don't want the badge? I don't know. But it's playing with me because I have a um, workshop at Hobby Lobby coming up and uh, I can't see the people that want to come. It only lets me see my friends that are coming, which um, I want to see everybody. You know what I'm thinking? I think that this skeleton needs like a bow tie right there, right? Wouldn't that be cute? A little bow tie? <laughs> All right, a bow tie would be super cute. But milestone follower probably just means you've been following me for a bit and it wants to give you some type of recognition because you are one of my VIPs. Um, now let's go to the long bone. And we'll have to plan this out because I want to use this transfer quite a few times. We'll do one bone over here that looks like he's holding on. I guess I can use a short bone for that too. Um, we'll do a long bone here. Stop trying to be literal, Michelle, and connecting your bones. I'm just, I'm just playing around right now. We'll go there, there, there. Let's see. Maybe we'll go more this way. Like there. I feel like I'm not getting the right angulation, but I shouldn't be worried about correct anatomy, right? This is cartoonish. We'll go like that. Or should we just do the short bone like Sherry said. What do you think? Short bone only? Maybe. We'll go ahead so we can have a short bone. Looks like he's hanging on this way. 
We can do a short burn. Like that. Do we want it to go like that with a short bone or do we want to be humorous? I kind of like the long arm because I like how you see a joint in action with the wave. We can always have some of the fingers going off. What do you think? I'm kind of liking more than one bone Maybe we can go like that, that, that. Yeah, I think I like the, a long bone in there. Am I crazy? What do you think? I saw a finished piece by another designer and she took the large pumpkin cut out and put the skull from the Victorian school on it. I'm gonna have to read that again. Hold on. <laughs> I saw a finished piece by another designer and she took the large pumpkin cut out. Ooh, that's so nice. Oh, mm -mm. I had this Victorian skull back here and I have such big plans for that thing. Long bone. I agree with the long bone. So let's go ahead. I have like crumbs there or something. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to have to try to get these guess over here I can use the short bone if I want both legs. Let's go ahead and get this one done because that's what I'm stressing about, right? Let's go like that. What'd you do last night, Tracy? Did you put the Victorian school on a cutout? Ooh, I wanna see. I wanna see. I think I'm just gonna have to do this because I'm overthinking this step so much. Mm -mm. I'm overthinking it and I don't know why. It's just an arm, guys. No need to stress. Well, that's better. I guess it's because I wanted the hand to fit. <clears throat> All right, let's just do it. And the fun thing about it is if I don't love it, I can just erase it off and do it again, okay? So let's go ahead. And you can get many uses out of one transfer if you're using the same color before you wash it. So we're gonna put that one there you want to just get off all of the excess if you because you don't want it to start drying in the screen. Or she will have to wash it because you're not going to get a great transfer. And then let's come down here. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, Tracy, I can't wait to see that. Did you post that yet? Can you post it on here, Tracy, in the my group? Mm -mm. I got two set of cutouts for myself, and I did them so fast that I need to get more because I want them everywhere. And I also want to make some Halloween-y because mine are just very fall and very pretty. But I want to make some spooky, too. There's a little bar here that makes it a little hard. There we go. Ah, I botched that one a little bit. It's because this little bar got in my way, but it looks good, looks good. Let me dry it so I can do the other one. I'll probably just line that up and redo that top there once it's dry. Or we can leave it a little splotchy and just say he had like osteoarthritis. We could do that too. I'm going to put this leg here. Mm 
Patience. I don't know if you guys can see that real close, but the way that um, connector went to the hip, it looks like a real bone. I'm gonna take a close up of that later. I'm gonna leave it. Um, have you ever seen an x-ray and there's like a little fissure line? I have a fissure line in my femur. I'm gonna leave it like that. That is awesome. It looks very medical <laughs> for all my medical friends. I have a fissure in my bone. You can actually see a growth plate there. <laughs> I love it. Very realistic. Spooky realistic. I kind of want to smudge the other bones on the corner. <laughs> oh, Michelle, Michelle. All right, so this one I kind of want to go out so it looks like he's um, hanging on. You like the osteoarthritis? Um, your medical, Tracy, you're going to um, like the fact that it looks like a real bone there. It's actually creepy how real that bone looks. Um, unintentional, but super cool. <laughs> what are you guys doing today on this Saturday? I... What am I doing today? I have some laundry, fun stuff like that to catch up on. Um, I'm going to a crab feast tonight. And, um, what else? I, oh, I have to do, are you dry? I have a couple videos to do for you guys for my work week next week. I've already done like one or two. But I like if I'm too busy and can't join you guys live, at least you can see something that I've worked on to get some inspiration. So here is our arm bone. What do you guys think so far? <sighs> what do you think? have a little um, smudger there. Get that right off. <clears throat> we don't need the feet. Um, but we need this guy. Remember, your thumb, radial. <laughs> I'm gonna fuzz this little hand. Ooh, you know the cute, the handprints on here also, right? So many things you can do with this little fun little frame. If you're not in my VIP group, you wanna go and check out the Halloween bundle that I posted this week also. It's a really fun, kit to put together. Just making sure. <laughs> oh, are you supposed to connect the bones, you think? <laughs> I don't know, Debbie. I like them unconnected. Let's make him waving hello to everybody that comes. Oh, let's see if I put it high enough. Oh, it's still perfect. It's like, hey, let's go kind of like this, like that. I don't want to do like a Miss America wave. 
We want to be like, hey, what's up? Where's my candy? <laughs> That's what we want him to say. Where's my candy? <laughs> Do -do -do. This is so much fun. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Get this transfer and um, see what kind of poses you do. The one in the catalog is super cute. They have one doing yoga. Are they both doing yoga? I don't remember, but there's yoga involved. <laughs> Which is very on trend because in the craft store when I was looking at bats, yes, I was looking at bats the other day. <laughs> um, they actually had skeletons doing yoga. So Chalk Couture is always on trend with what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's like a happy skeleton. Um, I do have that one, Tracy. Yes, I do. Um, and I can't believe they retired that one. Not like a spooky... This one almost looks like he's trying to lure you in so that um, he can take your candy. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, so we're going to put beware up here. It also comes with the words spine chilling, but I like the beware. kind of figure out where it's going to be. We can either go like this. We don't want to be too proper, right? Beware. What do you think of that? What do you think of it going slanted like that? Beware. Caution. Cuidado. Use the word candy. Um, <laughs> that would be cute. That would be cute. There we go. You want to make sure, like my jar of bright white has been open the whole time we're doing this project, and I'm slow. It's been, what, 40 minutes? <laughs> so you want to make sure you put the lid back on or add more water. And I want this all in white. Let your squeegee work for you. Put too much on there. Put all the excess back in the jar. Ooh, those candy corns from the transfer though, Tracy, would look really cute on the sides, wouldn't it? What not? Candy beware. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. And let's peel this off. This is gorgeous. What do you guys think? If you walk into my house, <laughs> this is what greets you. <laughs> All right. Ugh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and put this side up here. So if you guys love this too, if you want to get this transfer um, or need any of the supplies to make it, and then I'm going to hold this up for you guys so we can all see it. Hold on one second. Hold up. I just want to get this stuff taken care of so I don't mess it up. Doo -doo -doo. I can't wait to see your Halloween projects. And I'm going to take a picture of this hanging where um, it hangs. Then you can see my Venus flytrap. <laughs> All right, so let's. All right. Let's see if I can. This, this thing is huge, right? So the doors slide. So say you're coming in and. <laughs> Beware. Look at his little. 
little legs. I'm going to take a close-up of that osteoarthritis also. Isn't this super cute? I think you guys can see it better without me holding it, though. Right? Let's see. Let's see. I think you get a better view like this because I'm not a good holder-upper. Mm, yeah? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me today. Um, oh, look at all those hearts, yay, <laughs> yay. Um, I'm gonna go hang this up. I'm gonna share my picture with you. Thanks for joining me this morning. Tomorrow is Sunday morning, and I think we have another project to do that is not Halloween. <laughs> hmm. Okay, have a great day. If you have any questions, message me. I will be around today until the crab feast. Bye.